The Bay Diggers traveled 57 yards. They did it in six plays in two minutes and 42 seconds. Eric Garcia on a third and five with a 17-yard bootleg down the left sideline. Extra point by Jesus Gandinas was good, and the Bay Diggers lead 7 to nothing. And now Jesus will kick it off. Looks like the deep man over there for Fort Morgan at the two-yard line is Armando Lopez. Remember last year, Dave, that first game, the Bee Diggers committed lots of mistakes, and they were struggling. There was an experience, and they picked up where they left off when they went on that eight-game winning streak here with this opening drive. Yeah, they sure did. It doesn't seem like they lost a step. But, you know, that's the, that's the advantage of when you run the same system all the way junior high to high school. You know, the kids run that offense pretty well. There's a kickoff, and Cotinus booms that one all the way to the 4. Lopez straight ahead to the 10, to the 15, running into the 19-yard line. Before he is corralled, a return of 15 yards. And Kyle Muir just buried Lopez at around the 18-yard line, officially a return of 14. Aaron Anderson is the starting quarterback for the Mustangs. Matt Goto and Brandon Hoffman are in that backfield on 1st and 10 for Fort Morgan. At their own 18-yard line. We'll set up the beat diggers momentarily. Brand new look to that defensive line. The backs are split. Two receivers to the left. In motion to the right is Farnick. And back to throw is Anderson. He heads it off to Farnick, running right side of the end around. He's got a couple of yards, maybe three to the 21. Nice pick there by Anderson. At least it got me. Joe Rosenbrock made the tackle. That's one of many tonight, Dave. It'll be second down, and we'll call it eight for the Mustangs at their own 20-yard line. That was an excellent fake, boy. It looked like Anderson dropped back, and not only that, the Morgan receivers were all running their patterns really hard, so they sold that pass. The beat diggers on the line have Connor Weiser, Kyle Hefner, Austin Acosta, Felix Calderon is the nose guard, and Calderon is also joined out there by Kyle Muir. Second down and eight for the Mustangs at their own 20-yard line. Farnick in motion to the right once again. And Anderson this time is going to hand it off on the right side. And I believe that might be Goto. Gain of two. Austin Acosta with a tackle. Third and a long six. The Mustangs have the football at their own 22-yard line. Beat Diggers leading 7 nothing, Approaching the eight-minute mark of the opening quarter on the opening night of the Colorado High School football season for both teams from Beat Digger Stadium. Russ coming out with a different defensive look so far this year with the 5 Q. You know, we've been looking at a more of a 4 3 sort of a defense in the last few years, but you know, they're in a 5 2 defense with a couple of big linebackers back there. Farnick in motion to the right under center. Anderson with a hard count. He's going to hand it off on the right side. There's going to be a loss there as the beat diggers on that left side of their defensive line were all there to bury Matt Goto as he was running towards the far sideline, but he could barely get out of the backfield, and they fell down at around the 19-yard line, a loss of three, fourth and nine, and Fort Morgan will be forced to punt. You wonder if that didn't, if this isn't a, kind of messing with Morgan's pregame and preparation, you know, planning on blocking a four-man front, and then all of a sudden coming out and seeing the straight 5-2. Eric Garcia standing at his own 47. Ryan Probasco. At his own six to punt for Fort Morgan, awaiting the snap. And it goes off a helmet of a Mustang. It picks up on Probasco, and he tackled inside the 10 at around the 8-yard line. It looked like it went off the helmet of Zach Carpenter. And now the Bee Diggers have first and goal at the 9-yard line. And when you are the underdog going into a game like this on the road, mistakes like that are obviously going to kill you. Yeah, the uh, young team's going to make mistakes like that. And I'll tell you, Brush came out. You could tell they were coming after that, that punt. They were going to try to block it. They had a, a different-looking formation up there on, that, on the defensive line with uh, three or four down linemen clear on the outside of the ta- like from the, the guard tackle gap and out. And then they were blitzing the linebacker in the middle. And I'm, I'm thinking they might have got the – the Fort Morgan offensive line a little jittery. First and goal at the nine. Garcia will pitch it right to Rosenbrock. Plenty of running room to the eight-yard line to the outside of the five. He's going to score easily inside the pylon from nine yards away as Rosenbrock out of around one defender. And the beat diggers now lead 13 to nothing. It's sort of an option look, wasn't it? They faked that they faked that dive to the fullback to Seawald up the middle, and then Garcia didn't he didn't run that option where he took it down the line and then pitched it. He just pitched it right away and I'll tell you what, the Fort Morgan defensive ends were crashing hard, and Rosenbach just ran right around the wall. 
how great of a job does Garcia do in keeping that football right in his fullback or halfback's gut to the last second and sucking in the defense? Is that that's what sold the play? Yeah, and then there was a beautiful pitch. You know, it Perfect. landed right in Rosenbrock's hand. The timing was excellent. As Sus got Denas to attempt the extra point off the hold of Garcia. Awaiting the snap, it's down. That kick is up. That's much deeper, and that one is good. 6.49 to go, first quarter, Frost 14, Fort Morgan nothing on 1010 KSIR and KSIR.com.